Well, fellow vet owners, we all know what's coming, so get the stabilizer in. Get your fuel ready for the wait. Nice and sunny today, but man, is it ever cold, so got the plow ready. Got the wood pile all ready. We all know what's coming. Old man Winter's going to blow his horn real soon here, so I'm going to get this back in the shop and uh, talk about a few projects that I'd like to get going. Okay guys, so we're backed into the shop now. I wanted to back it in so I'd have better access to this side. Uh, let me see, I'm just trying to think over the course of this year I was able to uh, get done. I got I got new new rad in. Um, I got a new oil pan gasket on. Timing chain cover. Water pump. Timing chain and, and new timing chain and new gears. Um, what else did I get done? Oh, I got that new temperature sensor in at the front. And uh, got the new window sweeps installed. I'm sure I'm probably leaving some stuff out. but uh, So I'm trying to think of what I want to get done this year. So, And I'd like to hear what you guys are doing over winter to get your cars improved or things you've been putting off that you'd like to get done. Uh, this year I most definitely want to get rid of this AC unit. That's going to go. I never use it. I have absolutely no use for it and it's just in the way. And I may also get rid of the, uh, the air pump and that other garbage on top. I'll have to see. I saw a couple of guys that have remove that and boy has ever open up the room so that's another thing I'm thinking about I'm going to deal also with this code 42 on the engine by replacing that spark module the spark control module in the distributor and hope that that deals with that situation and uh, and I think that's about it although once you get into other things as you know stuff will stack up pretty quick also, yeah, I want to get uh, deal with this power antenna garbage. I don't use it. I don't use the, uh, never use the radio in the car, the music, because I always have the top off, so you can't hear it anyway. So I'm going to get that motor out, and if I can't fix it to go up and down like it's supposed to, then I'm just going to take the motor and the antenna out, and I'm just going to put a nice little red plug in there. I'm sure I've got something laying around that. I can get in there so and then the other thing that I'm thinking about but it may be too much I'm not sure as far as time goes so I'd like to replace all this beaten up ratty weather stripping so that also may be on the agenda I hear it's quite the job though so and I gotta get I gotta do this and I gotta do this and then I also have to do all around the hatch, so the things I hear about it is it's, it's not a lot of fun. But I'm happy with the window sweeps. They were a bit of a pain in the ass, but they came out pretty good, so. Um, so I guess that's it for now. Uh, you know, we got the north wind blowing and we all know what's coming, so. It's always uh, best when you can get stuff done over winter anyways. And, Gives you something to look forward to in the spring. Also the Ram Air. I've seen a few guys doing the Ram Air. And I'm going to have a little different approach on that to what the other ones are that I've seen. Rather than go with a, a grate or anything like that. My plan is, at this time, is to take a template and lay it exactly the same as that on that piece of plastic. And then I'm going to take the template and, uh, and drill a pattern in it of probably quarter inch holes. And I'm just going to drill an oval pattern, 
of quarter inch holes right in the plastic and I'm not going to deal with any other kind of stuff you know metal and all that stuff I'm just going to drill the holes in it and I think that'll work pretty good so that's my plan for that love to hear about your ideas uh, in the comments and what you're up to and how you're going to change things on your car add things or improvements you're going to make anyway I guess that's it for now and uh, it won't be long we'll be back on the road again catch you later